Hey BTs, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be doing a review of the new Rouge Dior Mitza Limited Edition lipsticks. I did manage to get my hands on two of the new Dior lipsticks. So, if you guys wanna see the new Dior Spring lipsticks, keep on watching. Okay, beauties, so it looks like we are in January. It's the first week, guys, and it looks like everybody's getting ready to slowly drop their spring collection and that would be Dior who is first I think don't quote me on it but of the big makeup brands Chanel Tom Ford this 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 it looks like Dior is the first one so I did manage to pick up their lipsticks and I actually am a fan of the Dior lipsticks because I think I did a review I think it was it their summer collection or something like that and I picked up two of their lipsticks I think it was part of the nude collection and I'm very happy with those lipsticks I picked up so it's time to get into these. This is the new, in the new Mitza limited edition, each shade of Rouge Dior lipsticks features an engraving and matte metallic satin or velvet couture finish. They do retail for 39 pounds. They are only on the Dior website for now. I haven't seen them uploaded yet on Selfridges. So if they do get uploaded to Selfridges, I will definitely let you guys know. We got some new lipsticks, guys. I need to like cut down on lipsticks because your girl, has a lot of lipsticks and Chanel is about to drop their spring collection I did see sneak peek ugh, and it is a bunch of a lipsticks as well I'm like oh my gosh I think I'm only gonna pick up two lipsticks maybe from the Chanel or maybe even one but <sighs> okay guys so I am going to start off with nude touch that is the shade that I got so this is in shade 200 nude touch it does come in their classic Dior lipstick and it's actually engraved quite nicely there as you can see it says Dior so I'm gonna do a swatch it's a nice nude shade so this is nice normally around spring I do wear lighter brown so this will fit quite nicely I think um, with the spring look I might even be able to pair these two together you know because they look quite similar let me see the gloss ooh no the gloss that I just did guys of the review you guys can see it it's a bit darker but anyway we'll get into this which is the lipstick first and see how it looks let me find out which one this is if it's matte satin or velvet so this is a satin I thought it was satin as well because it feels very creamy not like Charlotte Tilbury Charlotte Tilbury's is just a just a bit more creamier but this one is 200 nude touch it's described as a warm nude yeah this is quite nice very light airy yeah this is definitely something I would wear in the spring this is nice and I get my MAC chestnut lip liner over the lipstick because I still want to see the shade Oh, uh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to wear this look today. Like, I've only just put this on. It goes with the look. Oh, help me, guys. I don't know. Guys, so that is the lipstick. It's a really nice, light nude shade. I am really happy with this shade. This is like perfect to wear in the spring okay guys so i'm gonna get this one off and we'll put the next one on okay so the next shade is soft burgundy this is a matte okay so it's still the same component but it's deeper okay let's 
let's see. I'm wondering if this is like a red kind of, because it is like a soft burgundy, but let's see, I'm hoping I like it. kind of smell a bit scented to me as well they are scented I can smell it it's like a kind of how can I describe this it has like a floral scent it's very floral it's not the kind of scent I would wear as a perfume but if you're into like floral scents yeah I think you may like the smell of this So this is the next shade. This is described as a soft burgundy. This is in the shade 915. Okay guys, wow. This shade is different. Um, I don't think I have no I don't I don't have anything like this in my collection this is making the look look so dark because I've got like dark hair I've got like a dark red jumper on and then I have like this this is ooh, I'm digging this color I'm really digging this color I really like this you guys let me know what do you guys think and it's a matte ooh this is nice I kind of like it with this look. Okay guys, so my final thoughts on the new Dior Mitza limited edition lipstick. So there is actually only a limited amount of shades. Dior actually only came up with nine shades of the Mitza. So you have velvet, matte, or satiny. Those are literally the shade colors that you can pick up. But this is quite nice, I like this. Mm, I'm happy. Okay guys, so those were the two colors that I picked up. A deeper and then we have a nude there I like both shades very very happy with Dior Dior your lipsticks are they're getting good I really like them I like how this feels this does not feel drying on my lips as well it feels good it's nice it's a deep shade so yeah you guys let me know if you are new to my channel welcome I discuss everything makeup I like to get my hands on the latest makeup I do pink home hauls as you guys can see, I'm about to do one in just a second. And so guys, yeah, do let me know. What did you guys think of the two lipsticks I picked up? Are you guys going to pick them up? Or have you guys got enough lipsticks to last you a lifetime? And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Do make sure you like, comment, subscribe to your girl's channel, support the channel. It helps, guys. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.